hi good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you've been following my content and you find each and every one of the content useful don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe share and also hit the notification button so you get notified when uh, ever we have new content uploaded on this on this on this channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to um use the tiandi vms um software which is called the easy 7 software to bring this camera this camera up online so if you don't have the tiandi nvr or you don't have any available nvr you can also do your um your recording on your system how to connect those um the devices on your on your laptop so if you follow my previous videos i explained how to activate the the tiandi camera using the um the tool the, the the search tool to activate the tnd camera so in this video i'll be showing you how to use the vms software so in my previous in one of my previous video i showed you how to download the search config tool to um to activate the tnd cameras and the same process you follow to download the search config tool and install on your system is the same process you have to follow to install the is a 7 vmx there's no need of me going through the process of how to download the software and also how to activate the camera you can check my previous video and you'll get enlightened through that so now let's launch the vms software it's called the easy 7 vms by tiandi so let's go in all right i have I have all my my cameras connected to the poe then from the poe to my laptop so they are all on the same on the same network one other thing one other key thing you need to do is which i'm going to show you in this video it's how to make sure that um your your system is on the same network you have to make sure that your laptop your laptop is on the same network with the camera that is their ip range their ip range should be on the same um, network should be on the same network so we are going to check if our laptop is on the same network we're going to check if our laptop is on the same network then we're also going to check using the search config tool to check the and uh, the configured this camera is already activated check the configured ip address of this camera so let's check click on the search config tool on the search config tool the search config tool is going to pop up all existing tnd cameras so for now we have two cameras we have two cameras running on 169.254.74.10 that is the ip that has been configured on this um camera not the default ip I actually activated the cameras with this ip address so since we know the ip address let's check on our on our system if the system is running on the same ip address so you go to your control panel your control panel you go to your network and sharing network and sharing you see the ethernet or you go to change adapter settings click on change adapter settings on that double click on that ethernet so on that ethernet you see properties you go to properties properties you see internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ip version 4 double click on it so we we'll see now that the system is not running on the same network with the ip ip cameras the ip cameras is running on from our search config tool it's running on 169.254.74 that is the network it's running with so we we'll have to change our system so let's change So now we are going to change. Check the option button. Use the following IP address. So what's our IP? Let's check again. 169.254.74. So that's our network. 169.254.74. We are going to make this system. Um, let's just say dot three. Then subnet max is 255.255.0.0 default gateway will be 
one as it is now once we click ok this system will be on the same network with the ip camera so the system can communicate with the tnd ip camera so click ok click ok yes that is it so let's see it's trying to identify identify so let's check now what we need to do now is to launch the easy 7 vmx to launch the easy 7 vmx software let's launch it's loading so currently now all the cameras are on the same network with the the laptop we are going to so okay i have one camera added initially i'm going to delete this camera so we'll start all over again when you launch the now um, when you launch your when you launch your um when you launch your your easy seven software for the first time this is the home page you are going to see so we have the live view we have the device management we have the playback we have the tv wall a lot you can do on easy seven a whole lot you can do on easy seven vms but the main purpose of this video is to show you how to and um, watch your video live on your on your laptop if you don't have your dvr or if you don't have sorry if you don't have your nvr so now you go to device management under device management you're going to see auto search so when i auto search i discovered when i auto search you will see that we have 169.254.74.10 169.254.74.15 all active but it's yet to be added to the software so we did an auto search to check okay how many cameras are active how many cameras are connected to the same network so we're able to find two cameras that are connected to the same network so since we have two cameras let's add them one after the other you remember when activating ip cameras you have to assign what password to the cameras when activating ip cameras so we've assigned password to this camera let's go to add since we know the ip add uh, we know the ip let's give it a name let's just say cam1 cam1 we're assigning the name to the to the ip camera uh, what is the the ip we have um we have our ip to be 169.254.74.10 169.254.74.10 so admin username admin password i have password Sorry, I think I missed the password. So I have my password. What we're going to do now is add. Now, notice from this side, you see the device is online. One device have been has been added. One device we have one device online now. So which other one? Um we go to add. So we are adding the second camera. We'll call this what cam cam2 so then the password impute your password the password you use in activating activating the device so we'll go to what add please enter device ip sorry oh okay okay 169.254.74.15.74.15 add oh sorry okay so we can edit it's 169 not 167 169.254.74 so modified the device is online so we have two devices currently online since they are all on the same network so how can you view it just like the normal way you view um, your monitor when you have your your nvr so how can you use your laptop to view all your all your cameras so you go back to the home page 
you go back to your home page when you go back to your home page you'll see now we have live view under live view view the live images at the monitoring point you click on the view the live images at the monitor point automatically every devices you activated every camera devices will come up here you can see you can see we'll come up on this interface on the live view so what you need to do now is click click here cam one double click so we'll have cam one here you click on this cam two you double click so we have cam two here so this is how to add the tiandi camera to um to the to the vms software the easy 7 vms software so you can view on your laptop you can do a whole lot you can take um snap you can take snapshots you can see from this from, from here you can take snapshot you can record start all recording so once i record now all these things will be recorded into my system so you see this is recording this is recording you can stop recording stop recording now it's going to show you where the system is being saved so and um, on c vms record files you can click once you click it is going to indicate where the system is being saved to so this is what we just recorded we record on sdv file i'm not sure if it's going to play but let's try okay we can go all right it's playing actually playing so you can hear the audio both the audio the video everything it's recorded everything is recorded so so that's how to record on the vms software which other settings on subsequent video i'm going to show us a lot of settings we can do on the vms on the vms on the vms software lots of many other settings so for now this is just how to view your your live um your live footage from your camera directly on your laptop i'm using my laptop there's no nvr there's no dvr dvr everything can be recorded into my laptop i can check my motions i can check my events everything can be done just like the way you do on your on your nvr system thank you for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to do so share the content and give me a thumbs up if you like the content thank you